So UPF, since me and Cameron lost the tag match to uh, Froxy and Don the Pokemon, man, I'm kind of a bit annoyed that I keep losing to this guy, this bum, this loser, this show off. I'm so fired up, man. I'm ready to beat him once and for all to end this to end this rivalry because if I beat him and when I beat him, damn, I'm that close to becoming the world champion. Beating, beating my arch, my arch nemesis and my arch and my arch rival, Froxy. So, yeah. Let's go, Froxy. I'll be waiting in the. I'll be waiting in Pokemon Showdown. All right. See you out there, gang, gang. Hello, my name is Player One, your hostess with the mostest, and today we're going to be watching a monotype battle between Thruxy and Femur. On Thruxy's side of the house, he has chosen the water side, and interestingly enough, so has Femur. So let's hop right into the action. Thruxy's gotten the game started with Pelipper and Rotom versus Femur's Quackavel, Water Duck, and Quagsire, however you say that. Let's see here. Oh, Femur does a hard switch first round, and oh, Toxapec eats a big thunder. Hurricane coming out, out into Quagsire, who spits out a stealth rock. Coming out next, we have Iron Bundle, who unleashes a blizzard upon Pelipper and Rotom, and boom, he goes down with another big thunder. Another hard hurricane into Quagsire. He can't take too many more of those. We have stealth rock and spikes on the field. And Water Duck comes back out into the game and BOOM! Gets eaten by another Thunder! And down goes Quagsire with a Hurricane. It is now a 2v6 situation in favor of Thruxy. We have... Palafin doing the Terra Water and... Oh, he goes... up. Oh, there goes Thunder, but... Uh, we, here we have Rotom eating a Hurricane. And he's now in a 1v5 situation, takes down the opposing Rotom. And I think, uh, I think that that might sum it up here. Let's see if he has any tricks up his sleeve. Excellent game, boys. Thruxy Femur, uh, congratulations on yet another uh, fun match, and congratulations to Thruxy. Well, well, well. Mark Cameron and Don Pokemon are going to be playing in a championship match. Isn't this nice? This is all going quite well. <laughs> Mark Cameron, I have a message for you. I've been working with Don Pokemon on his team, your game. And he's going to have a few surprises in store for you that you're not going to see coming. And I want you to know that I'm going to be watching your match very, very closely. Because I'm going to be playing the winner at the UPF anniversary in July. I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to need it. Something's missing. Don, I'm coming for you.
following is a 6v6 singles match for the UPF World Championship. Here are your trainers. I'm only gonna say this once. This ends tonight. All right, to my left, the challenger fighting out of the Bronx, New York, making my life a living hell every day, Don Pokemon. And to my right, the reigning and defending champion fighting out of Astoria, Queens, Mark Cameron. Gentlemen, begin the battle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it has come to. All the fighting, all the bullying, all of the scare tactics to this championship battle between Don Pokemon and Mark Cameron. This will be a 6v6 singles battle in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Mark Cameron, the reigning UPF World Champion, Don Pokemon, former UPF World Champion, now the challenger. So let's see how these trainers open up the battle. Don Pokemon starting with Grimmsnarl, Mark Cameron starting with Garganackle. Don starting with a Reflect, building up his team's defense is very smart play, playing the long game while Mark starts off with an Iron Defense, buffing just Garganackle's defenses. Grimmsnarl, of course, plays the light screen, but Mark goes for Salt Cure, which the initial hit will be affected by the Reflect, but not the rest, so that Grimmsnarl is going to be taking some progressive damage over the course of time. Parting shot, lowering Garganackle's attack and special attack. Luckily, if Mark is building up the iron defenses for body press with that Garganackle, it won't be affected by the drop in attack. Palafin's now in, and Mark, luckily with all those iron defenses, eats up an Aqua Jet, and then the body press takes down Palafin with one hit. Mark is very happy about that while Don needs to think of a next step. I'm sure that was a huge strategy now taken out of his belt. Now Annihilate is in taunts Garganackle, so no more body press or no more iron defenses for him, but luckily Mark gets off Assault Cure. Not being affected by the taunt. But Mark might need to think of something else to do because he can't go for body press against Annihilate and Salt Cure, as you saw, is not doing a ton of damage. So, yep, Mark decides to switch out. Brings in Doom, the Iron Jubilus. Cork Drive, boosting Jubilus' special attack. Bulk up, coming in from Annihilate. Readying himself for a big hit. Don seems to be playing the stats game. The long game. That salt cure whittling down Annihilate even more. Oh, Mark goes for the hurricane. Could he take out Annihilate right now? Oh, he doesn't. It's almost down. Rage Fist coming out from Annihilate. Only taking Mark down to... Iron Jugal is down to half, apologies. And with the leftovers, Annihilate is able to heal a little bit, but is evened out by the Salt Cure. Dark Pulse coming up from Iron Jugalus, and that will take out Annihilate. That is a massive, massive hitter down for Dawn. Mark is doing some massive damage right out the gate, taking out both Palafin and Annihilate. 
while nobody on his side is down, and Mark decides to terrestrialize his Iron Jubilus into the Dark type. And he's planning on getting some massive damage with Dark type moves. Oh, and Don goes for terrestrialization too! Both trainers had the same idea. Fairy type onto Serilege. That gives the edge, no pun intended, to Don. Dark Pulse, how much damage will this do? It shouldn't do very much. Yeah, no, hardly any damage at all. A Bitter Blade coming out, and that, that takes out Iron Jugulus. Mark's first Pokemon eliminated Don's first knockout. And that is a massive hit to Mark. Even though it, that's just one Pokemon down, that's his terrestrialization done. He used that for one move and it barely got anything off. So he can't terrestrialize for the rest of the battle. Guard chomps in. Gets an earthquake onto Sarah Ledge. Very interesting strategy considering that Sarah Ledge has the fairy Terra type on. Uh, maybe assuming that Sarah Ledge does not have any fairy type moves. Earthquake, another one coming out onto Sarah Ledge, and that knocks it out. So both trainers are now done with their terrestrializations. That is it. Don trying to think of a new course of strategy right now. All of his tactics have kind of been wiped out right out the gate. His Annihilate, Palafin, and Sarah Ledge all down three massive hitters. Luckily, we have a massive hitter for Don right now with that Mimikyu Earthquake coming in. Mark is wasting no time dealing damage to this Mimikyu. A play rough onto Garchomp doesn't eliminate it. And it does take some damage from the rough skin and the life orb. Mark got very lucky that that play rough did not knock it out. Shadow Sneak coming up from Mimikyu. That will do the deed. And Garchomp's rough skin deals a, a final blow to Mimikyu before uh, Garchomp exits the battle. And Mark, he's getting serious. He took off the sunglasses. We never see Mark without those sunglasses. Now he's bringing out Scizor, a big hitter for that Mimikyu. Shadow Sneak does a little bit of damage. Bold Punch, that should deal the final blow. Mimikyu got whittled down by that rough skin from that Garchomp and its own life orb. Now Grim Snarls out from Dawn. Another Bullet Punch, that deals the final blow for him. This Scizor is going to be a massive, massive uh, hitter for Mark could deal the final blow here against the Great Tusk. No, takes it down to about half Ice Spinner from Great Tusk. Interesting choice of move uh, from Don, considering that it's not very effective. Oh, but Mark cannot deal the final blow with that Bullet Punch, and Headlong Rush will take out Scizor. Don is still in this. He's still got a leg in this battle. Can he hang on? and grasp the UPF World Championship, but Mark brings out Ditto! That... That is an outstanding play! Ice Spitter coming out for Mark! That deals it! That's the final blow! Mark Cameron is still your UPF World Champion! Congratulations, Mark Cameron! You've done it! You've defeated Don, saved the UPF, and are still the UPF World Champion! Champion. And still, your UPF world champion, Mark Cameron. Man. Absolutely. Don, it's over. Go home and leave us alone.